So we've actually heard that this is illegal. Soldiers with guns. Let's go. Hey, little puppy. This is the first travel video that we are posting out of order, so let us explain. Right now our videos are currently in Jordan, but last week we were in Iraq when we got an email from OnePlus who invited us to India for a special holy celebration. So last night we left Finland, flew to Delhi where we arrived this morning, jumped on a bus and drove to Agra to arrive at the most beautiful hotel in the entire city, which is where we are now. Just check out this view. That is the Taj Mahal. From our balcony. Right there. Like the Taj Mahal from our hotel room. Crazy. Still confused? Don't worry. All you need to know is that a very awesome India video is starting right now. But before it does, let us say a big thank you to OnePlus for sponsoring this video and making this entire trip possible. <laughs> We are back in India! <laughs> so this is starting a very hectic three-day trip. Everything's going to be jammed into one fast video and our first stop is the Spice Market here in Accra. There's no place like India. <laughs> I'm so excited to be back. There's just an energy about this country that no other country has. You forget, like I knew we were coming back to chaos, but you forget just how chaotic it really is. But it is so nice to have an oasis like this to come back to. We have just gotten back to the hotel and we are about to watch the sunset over the Taj Mahal. What a night and day difference from the place that we stayed last time we were here. Last year when we were here, our room was literally butting up against the kitchen. We had a window separating us. You could smell all the smells, hear all the sounds from the kitchen. And this time we're in five-star accommodation, 600 meters away from the Taj Mahal. But you know, those one-star experiences really make you appreciate the five-star experiences so much more. This is absolutely incredible. What do you think? Do you prefer one or five stars? Uh, let me think about that for a second. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's 5.30 in the morning. We're about to go to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Good morning, we are up bright and early to try to catch the sunrise over the Taj Mahal. We went at sunrise last year and it was beautiful, but this year we're trying something new, a way we can experience the sunrise all alone. Because we learned that no matter how early you wake up, you're never gonna have the Taj Mahal all to yourself. Also, I've had four coffees before 6 a.m. Feeling good. Good morning, puppy dogs. Good morning. Oh, it's early stretch. Good morning, Mr. Cow. Whoa. So we've come around to the back side of the Taj Mahal and the plan is to try to find a local who will take us out on a boat on the river behind the Taj Mahal. The only problem is we've actually heard that this is illegal for the locals to do, but in the mornings, from everything I've read, the police kind of like looked the other way. The soldiers. The soldiers with guns. So not looking promising. <laughs> Maybe they've really clamped down. No That's so so it's a little bit of a weird situation at the moment. There's a couple boats sitting by the bank and the army officers seem very friendly. So we're just gonna keep kind of like walking into the local area in hopes that something, something might happen. This is what we were hoping to avoid by getting on the boat. Thank you. <laughs> so the whole point of this trip is to test out the new OnePlus 6T phone, which is really nice at the Taj Mahal because they're very strict about camera gear here. Like you're not allowed to bring microphones or tripods. So it's really nice to have something that's super low key, but also really high quality. In my opinion, at least. I'm using it right now. How do I look? We're gonna be shooting on it a lot more today. So we'll let you know our final thoughts at the end. This is what Nate looks like when he doesn't have a tripod. <laughs> I call this one the leg slider. <laughs> it's really a workout. Looking it honestly good. looks so good though. You look so good. I don't know if it's just like the screen or if it's gonna look this good on the computer, but like, I'm excited about this. Oh quads are burning. So last time we were here, we ran around taking pictures like crazy people. But before we left, we sat on this exact bench and we just took an hour to soak in what we thought was a once in a lifetime experience. Turns out it's twice in a lifetime for us. It just feels so crazy to be back here just a year later. We're really, really grateful for this opportunity. I cannot believe we're back. All right, now let's run around like crazy people and take more pictures. <laughs> I cannot believe it is already time to leave this view behind, but we have to quickly pack our stuff because we're actually heading back to Delhi today to celebrate Holy. I've just popped the phone on the charger and we are about to head downstairs and grab a quick breakfast. And by the time we get back, the phone should be completely charged. And that's because it has the fastest charging time on the market. It takes 30 minutes to charge the phone for an entire day, which is really good for us because we still have a ton of content to shoot today. You know on airplanes when they give you those like tiny bags of peanuts that are like really just a tease? On this bus, full size bags of Doritos. Best trip ever. We've just arrived here in Delhi. We've gotten changed into our traditional kurtas. <laughs> and we are about to play holy. This year is going to be a lot different than last year's experience. Last year we spent two days with locals in Vrindavan celebrating and it was an unforgettable experience. But it also pushed us to the very edge of our comfort zone. After we posted that video, we got several comments telling us that the way that we played holy last year was not very smart as a foreigner and wandering the streets with all the locals probably isn't a good idea. So we count ourselves very fortunate that nothing bad happened. And we got to like have the local experience. But we had a great time. Everybody suggested that if we ever came back to India, then we should celebrate at a private party because apparently that's how most of like... Hey! 
Th that's how a lot of people celebrate in India. That's a safer way to do it. Is through a private party, which is very convenient because we met a large group of new friends yesterday who we're about to go play holy with. Party time! Also, we are going to be filming the entire experience on the OnePlus 6T for a few reasons. First, last year when we went out and played holy, I carried this huge camera with a protective covering and it just kind of like took away from the experience. Second, this phone shoots 240 frames a second, which is basically super slow motion. It's actually two times slower than this like $5,000 setup that we're shooting on right now. And lastly, OnePlus is the entire reason that we're here. I think this event is gonna be quite a bit more controlled than last year. <laughs> So today we're going around Delhi and we're gonna be seeing some of the places that we missed last year when we were here. And this morning we're in an area called Kanat Place. We're much closer to New Delhi and we are experiencing a side of this city that we did not see last time we were here. There are like a billion less people. <laughs> it's very nice and I haven't even seen a cow yet. <laughs> Thank you. Street food time. So our friend Marco from the Vaga Brothers is also on this trip. How long did you spend in India? Uh, after college, I lived here for five months, and uh, I was mostly in Mumbai and also like in the south, working like in in a rural area. And you love street food too, so we get along great. Have you had this before? I have. I forget the name. It's kind of like Indian Chex mix. You have <laughs> you have a combination of like pretzels with a little spice on it, some puffed rice, and all sorts of fresh vegetables, yeah. like onion and lime and cilantro. And this giant bowl for 50 rupees. Yeah. Whoa. And we get to share it so romantically. Mm. I love Indian mm. street food. I think that people, your first time in India, don't be super scared. Generally speaking, I think like a high traffic area where there's a lot of people buying one thing, right. it's generally pretty safe. I try not to eat food that I don't see being cooked. It's actually, people might think that vegetables are safe. Generally speaking, like you're much better to get something like this, something cooked, than a vegetable because fruit and veggies often have water on them. Mm -hmm. And it's really just the water that can be not pure and can get you sick. But other than that, this is good. It's mm. so crunchy and so spicy. Yeah. We are back at the airport. It has been an absolutely crazy last few days, but it's been so much fun to be back here in India, even though it was only for a very short amount of time. And before we end this video, we felt like we should summarize our thoughts on this new phone that we've been using for the past few days. We realized you probably don't follow our channel for tech review reasons. However, this is actually the first Android phone that I've ever liked. I've tried out a couple. I can just never get used to them. They're always really confusing. There's just too much going on. This phone has their own, um, what do they call it? Operating system. I don't really know what that means, but I really like it. It's really simple, really fast, and I've really enjoyed using it the last three days.
I've been really happy with the footage that we've been able to capture. Like the 240 frames at the Holy Festival, just on a phone was so much fun. And I beg Nate all the time to let me use my phone on the vlog or our little camera, and he insists that we use like our big <laughs> rig everywhere we go, and it's just not always appropriate. And so I'm so happy that you liked it. Maybe we can start doing it more. It was fun, but we are literally like about to get on the plane, and so we are gonna end this video here. When we pick up in the next video, the Jordan series is gonna be back. We know this has been a little different, maybe a little confusing for you, but we hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> There's lots of people trying to sell us stuff at the Indian <laughs> Gate. <laughs> no, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Hold, hold. Under, under the pole. I don't want it. Enough, enough. Okay, let's go. No, it's, I don't want it. It's, okay. it's really, no. No, no, no. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. Thank you. I don't want it. Run, run, run. Okay, thank you. Apparently this is bad booty. At some point I feel like like the color looks nice for pictures and then you just start looking scary.